Hello, my name is Ray Newman and I'm a Senior Technical Instructor for BMC Software. This video is to demonstrate a use of custom categories, part of the Atrium Discovery and Dependency Mapping software. The purpose of using custom categories is to associate defined values from custom categories, like location, organizational unit, with defined nodes in the data store. This demo will associate location information to host nodes that meet certain criteria using the template underscore host underscore location pattern. The criteria is that all hosts whose attribute host name begins LON1 are located in London DC1 and all hosts whose attribute host name begins LON2 are located in London DC2. Let's take a look at the custom category. Click on Location. Custom Categories can be found under Administration, Model, Custom Categories. We can see Locations, and down the bottom we have two locations, London Data Centre 1, London Data Centre 2. The criteria for the hosts were hosts that begin LON1 and LON2. Using the Generic Search Query tool, We have a search that says search host where attribute name matches lines beginning LON1 or name matches LON2. We run that query and we see that we have the host names LON1 and by using the filter we'll just choose one of the LON2 machines and they're there too, two of them. So we now have our data that we're going to use against the custom categories. The pattern that we are going to use was the template underscore host location pattern. I've already downloaded and edited this pattern and I will show you the sections that were modified. First was the table. We can see the two entries in the table here, LON1 which equates to London DC1 and LON2 which equates to London DC2. Further down we have the overview tag remembering that all patterns must have at least one tag I've just put the word in demo here in this particular instance. The trigger for this pattern is on host where a host is created and confirmed remembering that what this pattern will do is any host it will trigger on this and attempt to meet the conditions. In the body we have the regular expression that is going to do that comparison. We can see the regular expression we have the caret which means beginning and four dots for four characters. So when this pattern executes it will trigger on every one of the hosts that we executed against and it will capture the first four letters. If they begin LON1, location attribute for that host will be London Data Center 1. If it's LON2, it'll be London Data Center 2. Any other matches will just be ignored. So let's save the exit from there. Going back to ADDM, Discovery, Pattern Management. Now let's upload this new package. And we're going to browse to the desktop. And here I have my file update host location. And upload. So this was successful. What we now need to do is test the pattern. Now we could just run discovery, but that's not really what we're trying to do here. All patterns should be tested before they really get used for real. So what I have done again beforehand I have created a manual group called update host location and it contains 34 hosts these are the 34 hosts that were found when I did that search earlier on so we go down to the pattern select it click and we just click through till we get to the page that allows us to execute the pattern
Now, one thing you'll notice as I go through here, and this is a common mistake that gets made, people go, but where's the money will run? You can't just upload a pattern. If you want to test it, even manually test it, you must activate it. So let's just go back to pattern management. Select, activate. Okay, commit the change. This is a very small pattern, so it shouldn't take that long. If it's a large pattern, it may take a minute, two minutes for this to be done. Once these changes have been completed, we will then do a manual run of this pattern. But a couple of things you need to check before we do the manual run, and that is to see the state of the appliance. To do a manual run, in other words, I just want to execute this pattern and test it against known data, I need to put ADDM into playback mode. It's in playback mode, so that's good. All scans are stopped, so I'm the only one that's doing anything at the moment. Now, because it's been activated, we have manual runs. So let's click on actions, run the pattern. And we have a drop down menu. Select the item you want, in this case, update host location. The other thing to notice when you're running patterns is this condition here should match the trigger condition. So this says 34 hosts. I'm doing this against hosts. If you were trying to trigger against processes, you would want to see processes in here. So we will now execute the pattern. And all hosts met the trigger condition. Well, I would hope that would be the case because my search was on the criteria that I wanted for the hosts. We click on all. And what we now see, LON1, London Data Center 1. And again, using the filter to find LON2, London Data Center 2. Now you can see that there are other, there is other information here, Docklands Way, there are lots of items in custom categories. There are lots of other patterns which will also might execute and go, oh, this is London Data Center too. I need to execute and put extra information into here. So that short demo there was on how to use custom categories. There are others in there that we can use. If you want more information on custom categories, discovery.bmc.com and search for custom categories. Thank you.